This is the best week of my life. This week, the Grand Jews are reading Parshat Beshalach and the story of two great military miracles, the Pillar of Fire and the Parting of the Red Sea. While these were not as astonishing as, say, the event horizon around a black hole, wherein the fabric of space-time is twisted and warped in multiple directions and dimensions, as Bronze Age imaginings go, they're pretty good. The miracles of Parshat Balach excuse gratitude for the military. Now, gratitude for the military-industrial complex can for many be a challenge, but it's easy to be thankful for the people who turn swords into plowshares. It's even easy for those of us who have wielded neither. When I was in Kenya, I bought this, made from the casings of a colonial bullet shell. They put a little hippo skin on the inside, and it's a beautiful thing to wear and to remind oneself that war can be turned into art. Christian leader Shane Claiborne has a project to turn larger weapons into larger works of art. Google just last month announced its acquisition of military robot manufacturer Boston Dynamics. They create robots that haul and run and jump. and can even survive muggers on a cold Chicago morning. But my favorite military marvel turned peaceful has got to be the International Space Station. Born of the Cold War between the U.S. and the Soviet Union, the ISS is now a symbol of Earthling cooperation. Chris Hadfield is a commander of the International Space Station. He is Captain Picard for real. And he thrilled many on Earth with this viral video serenade from the ISS. Ground control to Major Tom. Lock your Soyuz hatch and put your helmet on. Ground control to Major Tom. Commencing countdown engines on. Arthur C. Clarke says any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Professor Erwin Corey says life is a miracle. Parting the Red Sea is a trick. I hope this is the best week of your life. Shabbat Shalom. This is Major Tom to ground control.